Morning everyone. Assault on Garden City, here we go. 700 points, three games. Um, I just found out that my first game is up against a guy called Sam Farah playing Rohan. Um, so I'll let you know how I go, but I'm taking East Slings. Dragon Emperor, 14 pikes with black drag, 14 pikes with black dragon upgrade. Um, 10 swords and shields, root of eye, brawl gear, three cataphracts, black dragon upgrade and shields, and then a drummer, black dragon. On three acolytes that are going with Brawl Gear. So about 34 models. So um, that's not a guy playing Eastlings, but he's also got the Witch King. So I'm my only Dragon Emperor player, but there's three people on his list which terrify me, and plenty of magic in the Mordor list. So, but getting Rohan first up is going to be hard. They're, they're going to hit the Cav, you know, hit my front line pretty intensely, but if I can get a Tremor off and knock a bunch of horses down, it'll be really good. So we'll see what happens. Just try and get them all on the ground and then I'll be versing what 20 Rohan warriors on the ground and I'd be happy to fight that <laughs> so um, just hope it's not Caesar Price <laughs> see you So this is my first opponent, so Sam, so yep. Sam vs Sam, that's awesome, and my favourite faction, so this is going to be pretty bit savage. So we've called death against the Eastling Phalanx, um, so far I've lost two warriors, he's lost nothing, uh, how do you feel? Now I feel great, I feel ask, me, ask me in about 30 seconds and uh, maybe be the other way around. Would have been better. So, gambling um, lost his horse. Dernhelm and the Rohan guard, uh, Royal Guard were stopped by a shielding. They had murdered people, Aemon murdered people, Dragon Emperor murdered people, Rudabai murdered people. Over here, everything sort of bounced off. Dernhelm had a lovely rest. Everyone's like, I'm coming, David. He's just, just he's just waiting to set up some sweet pro combat. Not yet, not yet. He's yeah. he's just um, the game is well and truly happening, and I've got to kill a lot more. So let's go. Uh, two points for each objective marker because at least one of yours and no one else's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Some points. Brogy is a bit lonely. Um, they abandoned him, and I'm fighting on this gorgeous board, courtesy of these beautiful people here. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, we've got Isla, who has, um, <laughs> and Jay, our TO, what a legend. I was running my most scared of this, and we're playing to the death, so I'm going to try and kill... Sam's going to die. I am going to die, thanks Jay. <laughs> But this, I'm glad to be dying on a beautiful board. Uh, killed four, three buildings, I think, but I lost a bunch of resources on the Dragon Emperor. It's, it is rough, guys. This is rough. We'll see what happens. 4.25. So you've got to have less than four models remaining. That's it. That's the game. Game over. Dragon Emperor is dead. Um, quartered over there. No banners. So it's probably just going to come down to ordering points, but it looks like... I think that Great Dragon game. Emperor one with Bayon was the decisive one, and it just came down to the four. Yeah. And yep. that was it. Well, well there yep. you go. It was a very different game. That was great. Great game, Mark. I loved playing you. You were an amazing player, um, and I was terrified the whole time. So, but just beautiful scene. Absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for playing. Too many walks, too many barrel whites, too much to go. Yeah. Great day man's going to play retrieval. Um, I'm going to beat the drum and we'll get into the game.
gotta get over there. So let's do this. Thanks, Jay. All right. So, first things first. Thanks for all coming out. This is uh, this event turned out a lot bigger than I expected, and I'm truly humbled by it. I hope you all had a great day. And my goal here with MDG is to turn uh, Queensland into one of the strongest Australian SBG scenes. I comfortably think we can put 40 to 50 people every single event. Uh, without really batting an eye, and that's my goal. So, Easy. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the way that it's shaped out, uh, we ended up with 28 players, and I had 27 prizes. So, someone's getting some special diet from me. They're baked, and they do very well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the way in which we'll do prizes is first we'll get the uh, first pick of an army and they will get an Aragorn Stagger. Um, second, third, best paint, best sport, um, we'll get one of the little letter openers. The wooden spoon will get the very first set of uh, Queensland MESBG new dice in hopes that they roll better. So this is a really, really tight competition, so uh, we will start off with the most exciting stuff. So in third place, well done, Carl. Yeah. 
You're too tall. Get that little bad boy and then walk away because you don't get prize just yet. And then in second, well done to Nick Franklin. <laughs> and in first place, well done to Sam Johnston. Yeah! Franklin Carl, come to your turn. Fish Lee Sling, time to get an elk. Thanks, Bart's table. Grab a little knife. Grab a little knife as well. I'm going to be honest, this is going to be a second. And the last one. Did you win any money? Nobody got this knife that doesn't cut anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sharpening this. Yeah, yeah, oh, I didn't cut shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's to work. You did something hard enough for you to cut it. Old school. That's so cool. Alright, and then for best painter, we're going to do this a little bit differently because there are little pins. So uh, in third place, we have Danny G. Oh. <laughs> in second place, we have Sable. Yes, Sable! We have Danny Giles. Ooh. However, Danny Giles has received a little pin. He will receive the trophy for it as well. Um, Elias, you aim in second for the <laughs> <best> sport. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yeah, Danny! <laughs> Well done to Aaron Hart. Yeah. Oh, Aaron. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's not a spoon. This is a spoon. For you. Make that roll better than you do. Wait for it. There's a six. Actually, there is a six. Yeah, right. That's his first six. That's his first six for the day. Please do not come back here. There should be, hopefully, uh, 22 people who do not have something. So there'll be 22 things here. Um, in an orderly fashion, please come up and grab them. Right. There are seven. <laughs> well, thanks for watching um, my recap. Um, I had a great tournament. I really enjoyed it. I managed to um, win my first 100 point league tournament, um, which is a massive, massive thing for me, a big deal. Um, up until today, I've come second out of doubles, and I've come first at a just a casual tournament. I took Wozes, um, but it wasn't for league points. So this is the first time I've managed to to get a solid win on a hundred point tournament. So I'm really stoked. Um, 
And you know, Dragon Emperor is a bit notorious at the moment, but he's not infallible. There's definitely ways to, to bring him down and stop him. And in that last game, I was incredibly lucky that, um, you know, Evan's magic just didn't didn't go off. He, he rolled um, pretty sadly. And I feel bad, but also was really happy <laughs> at the time. I was like, just roll once. Um, but yeah, I mean, even he had it, like we reflected at the end of the game and he rolled a lot of ones that game and it was um, definitely below average rolling. So sometimes dice just do that. Um, in the second game against Isla, I was terrified fighting the Bears. I think I've only really fought them casually once in a muck around Rohan game and got decimated. And um, I know the power of them. So all I could think of was just quarter them as quickly as possible. And then the Dragon Emperor took a huge hit in the first turn of combat. Um, and I managed to win the strike off in the next turn and insta-kill a bear. Six wounds because Ruta, Rutabi and the Dragon Emperor and a couple other warriors got in. And um, Isla failed all six bear saves. Um, and then was, was able to just drop Bjorn straight away. Um, and then quarter later on. But in the first game, I played Rohan plenty to know that if I can win a charge, uh, win, a, win, a, win a move off, um, and if, if they have to get out of a tight spot, they'll call death. But um, unfortunately, I managed to win a couple of the death heroic combats, and um, it didn't really go off for Sam. So, um, yeah, I had a great day, and um, I'm looking forward to doing some stuff with the Paths of Druidan in the future, in case anyone's too worried about that. But I might whip the Dragon Emperor out later on in the year if he's still around and doesn't get nerfed anymore. Um, he's a great model, and... Um, I don't think he needs to change whatsoever, clearly. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, if you want to stick around after this, I'll put all the lists up from the tournament. Um, we use stats and others for this one, and it was a, it's a great site for tournaments like this. So if you want to have a look at all the lists that were there, the Queensland meta, as it were, um, go for it. But from me um, and all the Reapers, thanks for a great... Um, oh, big shout-out to to Jay and, and um, you know, Battle, Battle Game Studios for the terrain and the Bard's Table for all the amazing minis. Um, and also for the other Reapers that were there on the day, um, Dean, Sable, and David, thanks for coming out. And um, good luck to you in the future. Bye, guys.